Hello, everyone. Welcome. It's Wednesday. And we're going to do some video game things. We're a little under uh, a little under 12 minutes away from the start of something called the Triple I Initiatives Showcase. They're, uh, what are they calling it here? What's their official... The Triple I Initiative 2024, colon, a new gaming showcase. 30 plus announcements in 45 minutes. No ads, no extra fluff, just a collective of studios beaming their games straight into your eyeballs. Well, what if, well, what if I close my eyes? No ads, except for the part where all trailers are inherently. But you know what they mean. It's not going to like stop in the middle and be like, did you know there's a Fallout television show? Did you know that uh, you can stream stuff to your television? You should buy one of these TVs. Here's a free-to-play game coming out of China that you, you don't want to play, but it looks crazy. You know what I mean. They know you know what they mean. Um... I don't know anything about it. I, I literally, this is, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I, I saw the name of the names of some studios involved in this. I think, uh, there'll be, well, I don't know if all of them are showing games or if they're all just part of the collective though. That's kind of the weird, um, thing about the way some of this stuff was done, but like the, the, you know, va vampire survivors was a game that was, uh, there it was name dropped as a, you know, kind of part of, this assemblage of game developers and studios, uh, the Dead Cells uh, team, which, okay, I actually, I suppose I actually do know a thing or two about what's here uh, now that I'm saying that out loud. Um, and let's see, uh, I guess I'll just go, let's see if I can look and see if I can find anything in my email about this. Okay, that's uh okay. Well, I I have a a trailer here that I uh, can't do anything with or mention until this thing is over. But I have I have not watched the trailer, so I don't I, I have nothing to spoil. Um, let's see if there's anything else in my email. Uh, let's see if we can search it a little bit better this way. Initiative. A new event by the indie stars behind Dead Cells, Terraria, Slay the Spire, and more is uh, is how it is how it is billed here. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, I uh, I like video games. <laughs> so let's see some video games here. Um, I'll, in a couple of minutes here, I'll, I'll make sure that the shot is set up properly and all that other stuff. This is a, an email an email about Overwatch. That has the word initiative in it multiple times. I don't like it when e email search is bad. I don't like it when, when searching your emails sucks. Uh, yeah, it'd be nice to, yes, a new UFO 50 trailer would be fun. Uh, I, I know there are some people working very hard on that thing um, and have, have been for a while, is my understanding. Um, oh, I want, no. Hmm. Okay, I'm not I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. It's the worst thing to do, but like there's a game I'm aware of that I'm pretty sure is still going to happen eventually that boy, what if it was here? That would be an independent smash. Um let's see. Yes, uh it, it, at 10 a.m. I believe the Cheech and Chong skins are going to go live in Call of Duty if they're not live already. I just loaded it up before this thing started to check and they were not there yet, but the weed event has started. So you can log in and get uh, pictures of weed that you can strap to the sides of your guns. Uh, maybe after this is done, we will look and see. I have to know. I have to know what the voice lines sound like in a Cheech and Chong Call of Duty thing. That, maybe that's a personal failing on my part that I need to know that, but I need to know that. I'm sorry. I'm human. None of us are perfect. And I have to. I have to know. It'd be funny if all of the voice lines were just like, yeah, just like it's, it's 
Chong shoots the guy in the face and then just goes, Marijuana for smoking. Like Cheech shoots a guy in the kneecaps and then just says, I take drugs. And you're like, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. I don't know. Um, they have some uh, some cute little lines here at the bottom of oh let's let's uh, let's make sure that our thing is set up here. Let's go over here. I'm over here somewhere. I'm somewhere in the middle of all this. It's me. It's me, as Action Bronson once said. Well, this seems like something that should be bigger to... No. Why is that like that? I feel like I should be able to... Oh, that's just making that... Oh, that's... Well, that we don't want to do that. Hmm. This is in some weird letterbox on, on YouTube as well, so maybe that's... Maybe that's the best I can actually do without, uh, well, clearly we could just do that and make it at least a little bit bigger. Let's unmute it and get a sense of the audio, shall we? make sure that this is appropriate. drop this audio down a little bit because it's maybe a little bit on the loud side. And then we're going to mute it because it's just the same little song on loop. <laughs> um, I got a C4 Midnight Cherry here that I got at the store yesterday. I was thinking about, uh, um, this might just be crazy talk, but I was thinking what would happen if I, uh, just stopped drinking caffeine for a while? What would that be like? With three kids, maybe that would actually, maybe that would be terrible. What's a midnight cherry? You know. Yeah. 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 No. Um, no, I don't know. Um, I do think I am going to uh, make a better effort to restrict myself to this one thing a day and then maybe like a soda or two. Because there are sometimes there are days when sometimes my wife will go get coffee. Uh, this happens on the weekend a lot where... I'll crack one of these open and drink it while she's out doing some shopping. And then on our way home, she'll be like, do you want some coffee? And I'll be like, yeah. And then she'll come home with some, you know, whatever it was like a white mocha or some, you know, some syrupy Starbucks drink. And then I'll chug that and then I'll feel bad. That's like, it's, it's like a over the line. Like, Oh no, this is, I've done, I've done, I've done too much. I've done too much, and now uh, I'm going to feel weird for the rest of the day. 
and uh, I need to not do that. <laughs> that is the that is the thing I, I actually probably do need to to change. Um, I'm gonna move this. Okay, where is? Okay, yes, that's that's good. Okay, sorry. I just uh, th there was something about the the color stuff that was looking a little strange, but uh, as I dragged it over to the other window and put it right next to. Yeah, no, that's that's a good match. Okay. Okie doke. We're forcing it into SDR, so it should be it should be good. HDR is great until you have to stream that content out. <laughs> Turns out. Um Okay, so I imagine this thing's you know, this is a YouTube premiere. It's not I don't think this is actually like a live a live live. Uh I wonder if this is going to be like a hosted thing or if this is just going to be bang, bang, bang trailers. They seem to imply that it's just going to be bang, bang, bang trailers. The bang, bang gang is going to be here to, to show some trailers. Evil Ono and uh, Adam Cole starting a podcast. That's fun. I should see if they're looking for guests. Okay. Strap the fuck in. Gearbox, huh? That independent studio, that ta that take that owned by Take Two independent studio, Gearbox is a part of this. Look, I don't want to immediately start this thing with a conversation about what is indie and what is not. But I think all of us reasonable people can agree that if there's a Gearbox thing on this show... World premiere. Oh, good. World, world premiere. I mean, I would say that even prior to the acquisition by Take Two, when when the agreement to appear in the show was probably done, uh, that being owned by Embracer was probably not. Oh shit! There's a second spire. Oh, that's why Gearbox is... Okay, because they, they own this, right? But this is... I mean, yeah, okay. Yeah. They published this. Neat. That's a neat update. World Premiere. I'm going to need to turn my audio up louder than their audio because my world premieres are better than that. Okay. Yeah. All right. I was just talking yesterday about dual joystick shooters and my undying love of them. And you know I like to master the demon within. That is, I am always trying to do that. Aren't we all? <laughs> ah! Kill Knight. Kill Knight is the name of your game. World 
premiere. This city's got it all. Bartenders, debt collectors, voxels, doctors, waiters, enforcers, killers. Now there's a new kind of killer in town. The bullet might have come from across the street, but the gun came from under it. Black market dealers are just like anybody else. They do their work, they clock out, they go home. Nobody keeps better records than a crook. And killers always leave a trail. All I gotta do is find them. Among us, wait. Before they kill again. That looks, that looks very cool. X, N, and P are here. We didn't think the Viking raids would get any worse. The days are coming. Hashtag join the raid. You. A lord of England must tame the land. Ah, well, like all good lords of England, I'm out here Establish cutting down a, a tree. Village and keep it supplied as it grows. Construct fortifications and build a oh, mighty Oh, some good-looking wall building. Your forces and prepare to man the ramparts. For our enemies have harnessed an ancient... Man the terror. ramparts. Don't ram the man parts. Or, I mean, you know... In By the way, there's a dinosaur world, at this castle. Steel. And scale. Only the bravest leaders. Like that didn't register as weird to me when it first happened. I was just like, uh huh, yeah. The ones who can raise an army. The ones who can fight together. Will be known as Dino Lord. Fuck yes. What? <laughs> no one has named a game Dino Lords yet? <laughs> that sounds like something that would be on before Thundar the Barbarian. It's, it's some, a real uh, a la carte kind of run looking animation there. Dino Lords. Uh, you, you know, I. It's out pretty soon. Okay. Yeah, this looks neat. It's just, uh, I, you know, I, we, there's a lot of. Vampire survivors on PlayStation. Vampire survivors is coming to PlayStation. The game people have described as the most fun I've ever had with one hand. You can play as a dog. There are no vampires in this game. You'll get the right build and just delete a whole screen of enemies. The garlic looks like balls. Vampire Survivors is coming to PlayStation. Uh oh. Okay, these look like vampires. I mean, those bats could be vampires. Are those... Are they adding vampires to vampire? Oh. Oh. Are these the Contra guys? They sure look like the Contra guys.
These are great names. Operation Guns, you motherfuckers. Oh. Huh. Well, time to buy this Vampire Survivors game, I guess. What's that all about? My name is Eric Hillman, and I am the composer for Flintlock. I would describe the world of Flintlock as this beautiful mixture of dust and dirt and grime with magic and gods and wonder. My main focus for the music in Flintlock was trying to achieve a sound that felt unique. I mean, you said grime already, so I assume. Unique to the setting, unique to these enemies, unique to these characters. For the idea of combat in this game, I wanted it to feel very specific and specifically small. For the gods, I went completely in the other direction. I really wanted it to feel and like went big. you were up against something awesome and <laughs> something epic and kind of like you were up against a real challenge. Like big. Just, you know, it was the opposite. You said the other thing was small, so... I'm most excited for players to experience a type of game and a type of world setting that we don't really see that much, that we haven't really seen that much in video games yet. In the faces of the gods below. Okay. World premiere. World premiere. Pre-alpha. Pre-alpha. Triple I, it's such a, I hate it. I hate the term. They're all bad though, I don't know. It was not always like this. Our empire was lost to centuries of mist. Did we overuse the Perlas, their infinite power? Maybe. The horrors were born, and that day, the cataclysma began. We sought refuge on the peak. And we grew stronger there. Then, one night, instead of fear, came hope. She bent the perilous to her will. Hmm. With her we stood... Unbreakable. Take our hourglass, hero. Collect your bearings and focus your mind. I like this game. I. And it needs more stuff, friend. though. Presumably, Once this again. is them saying, hey, we're putting more stuff into it. Will it be the guys from Contra? I mean, who can say? But. <laughs> you really think you can kill Death Pal? We don't have a string for him. <laughs> what kind of legend would it be with that fire mayhem? It's a, it's a good point. What kind of, yeah. Allow me to interfere as the gods to interfere. I want to see Death's heart encased in a prison of ice. Okay. Thank you, Chrome. <laughs> Rise again, hero. This is not your end. The weed update. Blaze one with your boy, Chrome.
when Earth turns against you. Survival is all that matters. We are pioneers of our time. This has a really nice look to to it. I'll see if it looks okay up close. Expand. All right. Yeah. Yeah. We live to rebuild. We live to survive. Oh, this is overwhelming. <laughs> yeah, okay. We're like ascending a tech tree here. Is that? World premiere. Did they ever? Did they ever say the name of that game? Did they ever say the name of that game? <laughs> Oh, Dyson Spear Project. Right, okay. More high-fiving in games. If Dragon's Dogma 2 has a, any legacy at all, let it be more high-fiving in games. Bangledag! Why did that centipede explode? Like, for lore, like give me lore reasons. They praying. They hungry. They burn and, you know, the stuff people do. It's a bird. It's a bull. It's a chef. It's oh, a right. This. Yes. I want to play this. This has just been on, uh, I think this has just been on Apple Arcade up to this point, if I remember correctly. What the Bat is a good VR game. What the Golf is a great game. Uh, like they, they just have a good sense of, of humor. I, I think that they're they're good at making they're good at making these things silly and they're never they're never intensely difficult but it's uh it's enjoyable. Like you you play it, you see the fun animations unfold, you see their their whimsy, and you go, yeah, okay.
Uh, what the car? You said there is a demo out now? Secrets and Whispers brought now to the fore. The light of victory. It's really dark a now. Long shadow. It's, it's extra. And in that nighted gloom. You thought it was dark before. It's so trunk. dark. Is under siege. Decency must be defended. Righteousness reinforced. This realm must stand fast against those who would seek to poison it and bleed it dry. This squalid kingdom. Sorry, I'm sitting here These thinking about like lands. what it would take to Aeolian like have now. this type of voice effect, and this like reverse echo, reverse them. reverb in like quote unquote real time. And I'm like, eh, you could delay it a few seconds and Hello, then I'm Anwar Noriega, CEO and co founder of Wabi Savvy Games. Building an audio chain in my head of like, eh, you could maybe you'd have to delay the entire video well, several we seconds. And... Platformers, anime, and graffiti, and wanted to share all that love with the world with our own very first video game. Rakugaki. This is the first project we have created together as a team, and we are very proud to be both published by Gearbox Publishing and also included as part of Riot Games on the Represented Founders program. Now, here's the first look. World Premiere. They erased everything that made our city great. Our art, and even the people, scrubbed and drained. But I know what I have to do. Noise canceling headphones. That's power these are powerful paint cans. The only way to resist is to get up. This is getting up contents under pressure too. This time it's for real. He's with Daku Gaki. Okay. Yep. I am always going to look at games where graffiti is a main mechanic. Broken Roads is a post-apocalyptic, narrative-driven RPG set in the desolate beauty of the vast Australian outback. To survive, you'll have to make tough choices guided by the moral compass, an all-new alignment system that will test your worldview against nihilist, humanist, utilitarian, and Machiavellian ideas. Become a hired gun, Just a jackaroo, those, huh? a surveyor, or a member of a barter crew discover their unique attribute bonuses, starting skills, and reputation within the world. Form bonds with a diverse cast of companions, each with their own moral leaning and ideal outcome for the many challenges you'll face on your journey across Western Australia. Broken Roads is available now. That looks neat. I like the look of the characters in that. Avalon they're just, they're bigger than you think. I don't know. Shadow of a bygone age. Nightmares have breached the last standing bastion of reverie. The heroes of the Raven's Watch are our last hope to overcome these evils. Come to me, friends! That's not enough to kill me! Feels like we're seeing a lot of um, indie games, I guess. If we, you know. 
to use the normal uh, that are doing this type of camera angle, the top down, whether it's action RPG or whether they're doing some type of real time strategy survival thing. You know, there's just, I, I feel like there's just a lot of this like overhead isometric ish. In a post Hades world. Looks like he wants to party. You know, that baby has got a crazy... Ah! Oh. Yeah. That boat stuff look almost like a, a modern take on Age of Booty, a real classic. I don't know if that's being has been delisted yet, but they said that Age of Booty was gonna get delisted, which is a sad state of affairs. Gonna say that fawn was like, oh, this this is that thing, isn't it? It is. Okay. Early access coming up pretty soon for that then. Free update. This time you're surviving and building a thriving civilization on a mountain. like someone woke up one day and said all these farming sims are too cozy and zoomed in too far and too personal we're gonna get back to making the people tiny and and inconsequential build the structures motherfuckers don't care who cares what this guy's doing you built the farm he'll take care of the farm Good-looking mountain. The trials are upon us. Will we finally see one worthy of the chalice of immortality? Now, I'd be cool with a wizard who could survive past the first round. This wizard wields fire arcana. Easy to learn, hard to master. Maybe the contest is finally heating up. Smell that burning. That's the scent of failure. She's onto an electrifying strategy. Earth meets lightning. Mmm, 
Lightning. So different classes of wizards, effectively meaning you can try out different weapons before you start your run. Now these four have the right idea. Any rules against teaming up? Nope. Using others as shields is a time-honored tradition. Incredible. The best I've seen yet. But to win, it will take a champion. A master. No. A legend. <gasps> Why does the school have an arcade? What? Let's school. Is this literally called Let's School? Because that's great if it is. <laughs> Let's school. Hell yeah. Let's. Now in the deep seas. Okay. The XCOM style of let's make a sequel and the second one is underwater. Is that what we're doing? Because it, it was, you know, terror from the deep. It was a good XCOM. Second XCOM. It's hard as hell. Potato's pretty good. This this is a cool game. I don't know. I like the way this game does its upgrades. Abyssal terrors. I mean, it kind of is. It kind of is, isn't it? They just kind of are. It's it's. They're just doing XCOM two. I mean, original XCOM two, not modern XCOM two, which was just. More XCOM. There's a picture of a switch to let you know we're not fucking around. Now we're porting to the Switch. Oh, what? Okay. Streets of Rogue 2 yeah. is a high octane RPG sandbox set in a vast, randomly generated this open world. This has been. World. With this ambitious. Right, sequel, this has been developed for like a pretty long time, right? The most open ended and fun sandbox experience ever. I like the look of these cars. The ultimate freedom of choice that made the original game a cult hit. In Streets of Rogue 2, your mission is to overthrow a corrupt president of a small country. Of course. Either solo or with friends via online co-op. How you reach your goal is completely up to you. Assemble a mercenary army. I thought the first one of these was okay. It's just, you know. Stage a zombie virus outbreak. Or just chill out, build a farm, and totally ignore the main quest. Pick from a diverse roster of playable character classes, each with their own unique, weird traits. Take a look at these glorious bastards. Hacker, chef, cultist, wrestler, detective, ninja, also gorilla, and werewolf, and uh, investment banker, and many more. Be sneaky, or go guns blazing, or make others do your dirty work. Get inventive mm -hmm. and experiment. There are multiple ways to complete each mission. Wreak havoc with a vast arsenal of weapons, gadgets, and vehicles. Levolution. Machine guns, shrink rays, Look at that traps, destrucity. Check. Supercars and speedboats. Check. Boom boxes, banana peels, rat summoning oak arena, uh, necronomicon. Uh, check, I guess. The huge procedurally generated map cool. of Streets of Rogue 2 features multiple beautiful biomes. 
Bustling cities, serene countryside, mysterious caves. Like just make Sunlight a bunch of, Island. just make Creepy more systems, graveyards. more weird systems, Explore more weird ways world. to tackle. Engage with its quirky inhabitants and write your the own tasks story. at hand, and just fucking Streets of Rogue let Two loose, is man. Coming to Steam early access yeah. later this year. Cool. Add the game to your wish list. Well, maybe I will. Those cars look cool, man. Nick on the Discord says, Age of Booty still shows is available to download on my Series X. Yeah, I, I, I don't think they took it away from anyone who purchased it. They just took it down, so it was no longer uh, for sale. No. These guys. It's Pikachu. Oh, I mean... <clears throat> You know, whatever, whatever these guys are named. Oh. Into the city of woe. In darkness, 33 souls join together. 33 gather courage. Against his law, we rebel. Fell beasts overwhelm you. Unite. Bolster your defenses. Flee mm -hmm. his fierce fire. You want to get out of there, probably. Mend your wounds and press on. Yeah, you know, I like games like this. I do. The fiends seek to consume They're, you. It's just, you know, seems like there's saved. a lot. And the actions of the Valiant are rewarded in relics eternal. Great is the wrath of God, and the second yep, death yep. may take you. Yet together, hope and help remain. Hone your skills. I think it's interesting for like how much of a seeming backlash there was against the procedural generation and, and rogue lights. And, uh, you know, run-based games in general. Like, it feels like that there, for years now, there's been people that are actively kind of shitting on that concept. That it, it has not stopped. Like, these games have still been popular. Like, they're still cool in a lot of cases. Like, uh, when they're done well, they're done well, right? I mean, you can say that about anything, I know. But, but like, it just... I'm... It, like, no one was scared away by, like... Yeah, whether it was a vocal minority or what, but like, like no one stopped making games like that as a result. No one said, "All right, no more procedural generate." You know, they, they instead they're like, "No, this, we'll, keep, we'll keep making it good." The numbers say otherwise, I guess. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an announcement to make. Timeless Tony Storm. Oh. Anyone can be whoever they want to be, and nothing says you more than a can of healthy spinach. Spike D. With its special secret ingredient. Kids, remember your five a day. Okay, oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Y'all just calling a game mouse. Steamboat Mouse. Yeah, just uh, all right. I guess I'll get back in my coffin. It does look nice in here, the blood fountain and all. I got my cool statue, but I'm so alone. Maybe I should try dating again. This lady's got an owl. Maybe she'll go out with me. This guy's got a weird... He's got a hunchback. Maybe he'll party. 
This lady's got a bone horse. I will show you the might of the house Belmont. Oh jeez. This friggin' guy again. We heard vampires were hot, so we finally made a Castlevania from the other way. Did you get to, like, upgrade your castle and turn it upside down? Oh, right. I, I did see a press release about this. That V Rising was getting some kind of Castlevania pack. World premiere. Ah, French champagne. No, that's fine. Like, are they making a Prince of Persia for the CDI here? Or what? Are, uh... Okay. Look out for that. Cool transition. Right. I d yeah. This. There's. I. There was some report last week saying, or was it just last week, or was it earlier than that? But but that there was a roguelite Prince of Persia licensed game coming from an indie studio. So I forget where I read that, but there was yeah, there was something out there about that. And I guess that's what they're closing on. Let's school as the arcades and let's school are too nice. That's my thought after watching the 45 minutes of this. Okay. I wonder if this is like an ongoing thing now that these studios or these these developers have kind of said, hey, we want to find a way to come together to announce our stuff. And if there is more to the initiative than, than this showcase or or what, but um hmm. that was a tight little show. Uh, but yeah, the, uh, what, what is it? The, 
Okay, Lysara Summit Kingdom. Vampire Survivors Operation and Guns. I'm just checking my email to see what it says about some of this stuff. So that's uh, May 9th. $2.50 for Operation Guns. It's a great... It is a... It is a great name. <laughs> and, uh... Cataclysmo. was the one of the yeah that's that's one I got ahead of time um what do we got here darkest dungeon 2 kingdoms update new game mode in 2024 yeah so I, I guess the email's kind of recapping a little bit uh what the car is out yeah September 5th like they said that's cool I'm, I'm looking forward to playing that because I um I finally I canceled Apple Arcade because it's not good or it's not enough rather um i just never was never using it and then it, 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 the two or three times now that i've canceled apple arcade there's always a game like the month after that and in this case it was what the car that i was just like god damn it i'm like nope not gonna resubscribe not gonna resubscribe to apple arcade not Okay. Last time I downloaded a Sonic game and loaded it up for like 20 seconds and closed it and then forgot to open it ever again. I I was at some point just subscribing to Apple Arcade so that I could play the updated version of Ridiculous Fishing. And then I got all the way through that and I was like, I don't, yeah, I, I got to cancel this thing. I got to cancel this thing. I'm just not using it. So yeah, I don't know. Apple Arcade. I'm sure. You know, for the for the right person who plays mobile games a specific way, I'm sure Apple Arcade is fantastic, but I just it's I always I always forget to play the games. I always forget to check. Like, did anything come out? Um Okay, well, that's, I don't know. That, that Yeah, I don't know. That was, that was a, a cool show. Just kind of bang, bang, bang trailers. Um, decent looking stuff. Like I said, you know, trend wise, it just seems like, again, and this is not new, right? We've been seeing games like this for at least like the last year, if not more. But uh, there is that kind of like post Hades uh, and stuff like Death May Die, you know, or, uh, or Death Must Die, which, which has been out for a bit. With the way that those characters talk to you, it's like, oh, okay, yeah, you got, you, yeah, no, like, like Hades, you're gonna, okay, I see. And I don't know, it just seems like there's a, a a fair amount of that out there, and also a lot of kind of, uh survival strategy town builder type stuff right um whether it was that game on the mountain or like hey we're gonna build a farm or hey you're gonna build you know build your castle like the uh even the that dinosaur game at first looked like oh am i just building a castle and then like yeah some invaders will invade but really i'm just kind of like here to build and make sure i have enough resources and make sure enough food is coming in and and, and all of that stuff and then dinosaurs crash through the wall and you're like okay all right, Dino Lords. All right, Dino Lords. So that that definitely stood out. Um, but yeah, I, I uh, that just at some point it just seems like there's a a lot of a lot of stuff like that happening um, too. And I guess you know that that kind of goes part and parcel with some of the stuff we've been seeing out of some of the publisher or the, the hardware manufacturer driven showcases lately too, where it felt like those last couple of third party Nintendo showcases. And also, you know, one of those Xbox partner ones as well. It's just, you know, the kind of here's five more farming games. Here's, you know, like, like it's just like, there seems like there's a glut of that stuff to a certain extent. And, you know, nothing really wrong with that. I mean, there, you know, Gaming has always had gluts of certain types of games, right? Uh, you know, you go back to the 90s, everything was a first-person shooter for a while there because of what happened 
with Doom and such. Um, so, you know, interest in genres will wax and wane and, and all that sort of stuff. So, so it's not like surprising that um, in the wake of a handful of those games, we're starting to see, you know, games that you would look at and go like, oh yeah, I guess Hades is going to end up being influential um, to other, other developers, aren't, isn't it? And um, not that Hades is the only influence on that stuff. Not that Hades purely invented the mechanics that are, you know, like there, there are definitely things. Obviously the perspective is different, but I think, you know, you could draw some, some dotted lines to something like a dead cells and Hades in some cases and, and back and forth. And, you know, there, there's just a lot of that. Dino Lords look cool. 